Thousands of Australians have taken to the streets in defiance of COVID-19 rules as the country marked its national day. They've been protesting the mistreatment of Australia's Indigenous people. For Aborigines, the day is also known as Invasion Day. Always was, always will be Demonstrators called for justice as they marched across major cities, including Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. They've also asked the government to change the date or even abolish the national holiday. Australia Day marks the anniversary of the arrival of the British First Fleet more than 230 years ago. But protesters say that it symbolises the destruction of indigenous cultures by European settlers. For me, January 26 is a very um, sad day. Um, when I think about it, I think about what our people have gone through. And it, it just makes me sad and um, I wish we really could change the date. We're here to ask for equal rights in this country. Um, unfortunately, for over 230 odd years, it's been pretty terrible for our people. Um, we need justice. At least five people have been arrested in Sydney after scuffles broke out with police. Up to 3,000 protesters gathered at a central park defying COVID-19 rules. Public gatherings of more than 500 people have been banned. Official celebrations have been muted this year due to the pandemic. In Canberra, Prime Minister Scott Morrison marked the occasion by attending a flag-raising and citizenship ceremony. For better or worse, and worse, it was the moment where the journey to our modern Australia began. And it is this continuing Australian journey that we recognise today. Our stories since that day have been of sorrow and of joy, of loss and redemption, of failure and of success.